This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it's going to be another Dragoonity combo tutorial video for the June 12th format of 2017, of what this deck has access to, and the first turn sort of combos you're going to be trying to make if you're trying to play this deck in any sort of capacity on a competitive level, or a local level, or a casual level, whatever, whatever you're trying to do. But this is going to be one of the four card combos, but do not fret, it is very non-specific. You do require Ravine Phalanx, or just a way to summon ducks with Phalanx and Graveyard, and then you require any two of these four cards uh, in combination. You can't have two of the same one unless it's Garuda. Garuda is the only one that you can have two of um, in, as the other uh, third and fourth card in your hand, and it works. But for Mistleton, Baby Rock, and Instant Fusion, you literally have to have any combination of the t of two of these four cards. So it can be Mistleton, Instant Fusion, it can be Mistleton, Baby Rock, it can be Baby Rock, Instant Fusion, it can be Mistleton, Garuda, it can be Baby Rock, Garuda, it can be G Garuda, uh, Instant Fusion. Uh, like there's a few different ways that this is uh, that this is possible. And like I said, it just requires literally any two of these four cards and the only one you can have double like doubles of and still make it work is Garuda. Uh, you can't even have double baby rock and make it work because you need the uh, the additional level four or level six dragon to get you into your play starters uh, for that works. So uh, so what we'll do for this one is we'll just keep it simple. We'll just do it with uh, with Garuda or not Garuda uh, with uh, Mistleton and baby rock uh, to just give you the uh, the gist of what this should be. And this is going to end you with the simple plus one. You're going to end with five cards. You're going to end with Ravine. You're going to end with Stardust, Crystal Wing, Dweller, and Darkness Metal at full power. So it's a very strong opening in this format that we're going into because Dweller is very good against a lot of things, both meta and not. And Crystal Wing alongside Stardust to be, you know, field wipe protection is also very good. So I'm going to show you how this is structured. So you start off with activating your Dragon Ravine and you discard your Phalanx to Grave to search for your Ducks. All of these combos should start the same, so if this isn't familiar to you by now, then you should probably take a different look at how you're playing the deck, uh, because it might not be the way that it should be being played. But, so you send, in this instance, since we have Mistleton, you send it for Phalanx and summon the Phalanx back. Uh, if you had Instant Fusion or Garuda, you would just summon the Garuda, um, or uh, after you Synchro into Vajrayana with Ducks, and you banish the Ducks. Uh, but regardless of which route you go, you want to have either a Vajrayana Gaederg, or you want to have... Uh, Mistleton Gator here. You want to have two level sixes, and so basically that's what you want to have. Uh, but so from here, you're going to use the Gator's effect before we overlay to add and discard Zephyros, and then you're going to overlay the Gator and the level six dragon that you have into your Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, and then you're going to detach the Gator specifically. All of these combos literally have the exact same, like, starting 10 steps. So, like, I don't know how I can tell you otherwise other than just telling you you need to know what these are. Uh, but you'll use Darkness Metal's effect to bring back the Gaederg that was just sent to Graveyard. And you'll use Gaederg's effect once more. Now, what you're going to do here is that you're going to add the Garuda. And then you're going to discard the Baby Rock if Baby Rock was what you had in your hand. Now, if you had Instant Fusion or Garuda as your other card in hand already then you're just going to add and discard Baby Rock. It's pretty simple. You just you want to be sending a Baby Rock to Graveyard at this point and have either Instant Fusion or Garuda in your hand to be able to summon as a level 4 as the combo sequence goes from this point on. They All the different openings, despite how variable they are, they all link up literally at this point. And that is the point where you want a card in hand that lets you summon another level 4 body and you want to be putting Baby Rock in Grave at this step. But see, so you'll special summon the Baby Rock and then you'll Synchro with your Gaederg here into your Stardust Dragon. So you've gotten your first uh, boss monster out onto the board. Now you're going to bounce the Darkness Metal to your hand, you're going to summon the Zephyros from Grave, and you're going to take your 400 damage, and then you're going to special summon your Garuda from hand, or you're going to activate Instant Fusion uh, to get out your Mavilus. Now with, in the essence of Garuda, the card I always banish is Baby Rock, because you're about to put another one in Grave anyway because we play multiple in this deck list. Now you do have to be playing at least two Baby Rock for this combo to work, uh, to yield this ending result, uh, but otherwise, it's, it's pretty alright. Now there are certain little differences you could do in terms of ending the combo sequence, 
Um, you could choose to not make Dweller, and instead you can make like uh, Queen Dragon Jin and bring back something. You can make a bunch of different ways, but ways. But what I'm showing you for this one is literally just how you should be structuring it to have a good starting in the current format as well as the June format. Uh, so this is kind of both format like applicable. Although if you were playing for the current format, you'd still be using Norden. And this would be possible literally just off of Ravine Phalanx Instant Fusion because Norden gives you two cards, whereas you need the extra card for this one to work. But regardless, you're going to overlay these two level fours into your Di uh, not Digusto. Why am I? Why is Digusto Emerald just on my brain constantly? I mean, you could make Digusto Emerald here. I mean, it probably wouldn't be bad. I mean, Jesus Christ, it gives you an extra card. Um, who knows and who cares? But regardless, uh, we're making the Abyss Dweller just blind turn one. It's great against Dino True Kings. It's great against uh, True Draco. Um, it's decently good against Zoo in terms of their Ram Ram can't trigger um, and things like that. But it's definitely not as strong against Zoo. It's good against the odd random matchups like Mermail and things uh, that might be coming out to get you. Uh, Minerva Sworn, it hits like Wolves and things like that to where they can't really bypass their normal summon, summon that efficiently because they can't like Mizuki you and stuff like that. It's a pretty strong card in the current format, especially if you're able to protect it with something like what we're doing now. But So you're going to banish the Atum, and the materials are going to fall off of it, and you're going to summon the Darkness Metal. And then off Darkness Metal, you're going to bring back the Gaederg again, and you're going to use its effect a final time to add and discard another copy of Miss Valley Baby Rock. And the Baby Rock is going to special summon itself, and then you're going to synchro with the Gaederg into your Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So... Off of four cards, a very non-specific four card opener, because like I said, it can be literally any co any combination of two of those four cards. It could be Instant Fusion, Garuda, Mistleton, or Baby Rock. The only thing you can't have is doubles of any card but Garuda in order for it to work. Uh, because of the fact that if you uh, if you had double Baby Rock, you wouldn't be able to make Gaederg. You'd have to make um, you'd have to make uh, Vodger. You'd have to make what would you have to make? You'd have to make Gaederg. And then Coral Dragon. No, actually, Double Baby Rock would actually probably work. But you'd have to be playing three Baby Rock in your list in order to get two Baby Rocks further down the combo sequence. Uh, at least I think that's how that would work. I don't know. I'll have to test that one. It might work if you open two Baby Rocks, um, now that I'm thinking about it. Because you'll definitely make Gaederg, add Garuda, discard Baby Rock. You'll summon the Garuda, and you'll get Coral Dragon. And then that's a six and the, the Gaederg, which is what you need to be on uh, the field. Uh, when you make the attempt. Well, no, because then you can't do Zephyros as early and you're wasting a search. So, yeah, it might not be possible. I might just be right on that. But anyway, I'll think about that a little bit later. But what I showed you here is just, you know, you get a simple plus one out of it. You turn the four cards in your hand into five. So it's a simple plus one. Uh, but you've got a really strong, capable board in the fact that you can't get board wiped. You can't, uh, you can't, you can deal with one effect. Uh, you can deal with all the grave effects during the turn. And then literally these cards are both floaters because of the fact that Darkness Metal exists. So if you get Kaijued over any of them, or if anyone gets like dealt with, if they somehow out your Crystal Wing by like Kaiju or whatever, you can Darkness Metal it back. These boards are so good because of the fact that they put a lot of pressure on your opponent to out the entire thing at once. They have to out your entire board at once or else you're just going to be able to mold it back into something next turn. That's one of the strengths this deck has. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I've always enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, but yeah, so this is this is probably what your turn one structures want to look like going into the next format because you know Dweller hits a lot of generic things uh, that are problems to this deck. Specifically, things like uh, like the amount of floating that the Dinosaur True King deck can do is pretty problematic against this deck uh, specifically. But uh, I mean, this just deals with it. I mean, you just you just turn it off and you just say nah. -uh. You you just say you're not doing this to me. Uh, but there are definitely other combos you can go for. You can definitely build this deck certain ways. Um, like, you can build this deck to focus around just Ravine Zephyros. Just max on Ravine and max on Zephyros. Uh, and then just play a shit ton of trap cards and just try to do the simple, like, two-card combo and have trap cards. There's definitely a lot of different ways you can play the deck moving forward. So, it's definitely something that you should respect is the ability of this deck to either combo off or just wall up and do things like that. For Link format, I think this deck is literally just going to be, like, summon Stardust and set three cards and pass turn. And then, like, summon Omega next turn if the Stardust went away and came back. Like, things like that. I think this deck is going to get really watered down into mundane territory of literally going back to what it was in 2011, except we have better synchros to go into. Instead of just going into Stardust over and over again, we can go into Crystal Wing and Cypher and Lord Omega. I think that's how the deck is going to play in Link format. Um, unless we implement cards like Blackwing and Gofu to, like, open up Link spots with, like, Deco Talker or something. We literally just need, like, good generic, like, Link 2s that open up two spots for us 
because then this deck could actually start molding with those because of the fact that you can easily get two monsters on board and then continue some sort of um, like light combo sequence after that to make like a tum and, uh, and a level eight. So there's things like that to, to think about. But anyway, that has been enough rambling on the end of this video, on the back half of this video. Jesus, I did not expect to actually start going on to a little ramble rant or a little bit of an educational like theorem uh, sort of sort of session, but I did. Oh well. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this combo in the comments down below and all sort of nonsense. If you want to see more Dragoonie combos or more combos from other decks and all sort of nonsense, then definitely leave a comment down below and I would probably look into some things just to, you know, keep combo tutorials on the channel because I really enjoy doing them because I like learning about things. I like testing out conceptuals, stuff like that. So it's definitely something I'm interested in. But other than that, links are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly and help some future projects I've got in the works come into fruition a bit faster. Or if you want to get access to my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people constantly talk on a daily basis, as well as the people that I play for games come exclusively from that Discord server, then definitely go check out the Patreon link that is in the description. But even something as little as a dollar is a fantastic way to show your support for something that you like and a fantastic way to help the channel grow into the future so definitely go check that out and maybe consider it if you are able to do so but other than that that is it for this video as i've already said to like the video if you want to see more content like this subscribe if you already haven't and you're new here welcome to the party welcome to the family and hopefully you enjoy some things here if you haven't been here before but otherwise that is it for this video thanks for watching again as always thanks for your time as usual and take care guys i will see you in the next video